Are you okay? Okay, so there's a uh, Dollar Tree over there. I think we should go get some green, brothers. I got a question. A Why color. did everyone wear orange except me? I feel like someone in this group is racist. Yeah, I have green right here, brother. Hey! Now that you mention it, I literally have green in my backpack. I can't. We'll get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Colby, Jake met up with Jennifer, and so the reason why he's texting this random Wiccan is because they're friends. Jennifer yes. used to meet up with this girl at summer camp. Uh -huh. That's why she like kind of knows about the cabin because it's grandpa's. But they met at a summer camp. <laughs> yeah. This is a horror movie. She's gonna tell us about the area because Jennifer hasn't been there in like two years. Ew. Brother! <laughs> oh my god, dude, that mountain. Look at that. See how foggy that is? We're gonna be up there. The subway? Is this a bad sign? Is it like a bad I omen? Don't know. I don't know. For those of you guys that didn't watch the Stanley Hotel series, a psychic that we hired told us that if we wear green, it's the color of being like heart and like family, and it protects you from spirits. So that's why we're trying to wear green. Literally out of this entire store, this is all we could find that's green. Are you kidding me? There's only one pair, so that means two people will be saved. And I have merch, so True. three and people. The, the backpack's green as well. The and we have Shrek. And Shrek. So we'll be good. All right, okay. green socks. Let's go talk to the witch. Crap! It is, we are in a cloud. We cannot see anything. We're like oh up in the god. mountains. We're not even there yet. This is gonna be so horrifying. Oh my god, we dude! See, we literally can't see anything. And at night, oh! It's like we're in heaven. Dude. That's incredible. I'm always in heaven with you guys. Oh. So I missed my turn because of Jake, and now I have no idea. Like it's oh! Whoa! Oh, it was crashed. Yeah, you, you, Oh, you pay attention to the road. Okay. Pay attention Could to the you road. tell me where to go, please? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's coming up. It's coming up. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, dude, where do it's, I go? It's on the left. Dude, I can't see. Screw this. This is so hard. <laughs> this is to true. get there. We're talking way too much about this fog, but all Sorry, we want to get the point across is this is going to be the most horrifying area and terrain we've ever shot anything in. It's raining a little bit. Which is a sign to go home. Who lives in the middle of the woods like this? No, dude, if it's raining, oh, that means we can't drive. This is LA. We're supposed to be scared of the rain. <laughs> so we're stuck. So we're gonna be here all night. I think we should just go in there, uh, make it quick, because this girl could like murder us, and then let's leave. What has she told you? Literally nothing. All she's been like is, here's my address and I'll see you this time. I don't know anything about her. And all Jennifer that. said is she's Here's like her, number. her friend, and but she hasn't been up here in a Like, in like met a her while. in like a couple years, yeah. What the f is that guy doing? <laughs> that's actually, <laughs> that guy lives in the future, okay. <laughs> that's actually, in the middle of the forest. That's actually epic as fuck. Dude. Dude, that guy looks like he's just floating across. <laughs> Obviously we got in contact with you through Jennifer. Like how do you how do you know her? I've known Jennifer for like mm, ten or so years, but it's been at least a year since we've spoke. You don't talk anymore? Um, not too much. I started getting into like tarot cards and the witchy stuff and she just wasn't into that, so Dang, she yeah. said yeah, you were friends, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, oh, I mean, we're friends. So. Mutuals. <laughs> yeah. She kind of has this cabin that you know about. Yeah. Is that true? Or do you still not know about like this area? It's an interesting area. She said it was haunted. Have you experienced anything there? Well, someone did die there, so. Oh. Whoa! Okay, that door just went All open. Right. Uh, does that happen? It happens from time to time, yes. So. Oh, okay. But that was like right after I said that. <laughs> Do you know who died or how they died? It was in, I believe, like the 60s or so. And the way they died is they did not have heating in the house. So they had a propane stove they were using to heat the house and they died of carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh, no way. Oh. And, and there was a local sheriff that lived like three houses down that finally decided to come here and found the body, so. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah. All Jennifer said was this place up uh, north a little bit is called Witch's Forest. But she literally said nothing about why it's called Witch's Forest. Do you have any idea? Um, I'm not exactly sure. There are a lot of rituals and stuff. There's a lot of weird stuff that goes on in this area. It used to be owned by like mobsters. I know there's satanic rituals, which aren't as bad as 
like aren't as evil as you would think. They're not really evil, but yeah, we do them um, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> you would consider yourself a Wiccan. I would, yourself? but I feel like it's got a different perception from what you would think. So, so can you okay. explain that to us? Um, well, I sort of like to live my life by the moon cycles. So full moon would be a time of like a lot of energy and creativity, whereas new moon is more like introspective and like going into yourself. <laughs> Why is that doing that? That's great. Perfect. Mm -hmm. It's fine. We're trying to spend the night here in the forest. Is that a good idea, bad idea? Well... Or have you ever heard of anyone doing that? A lot of people have died up there. Not recently. So I feel like you won't die. Okay. Um, good, good start. start. Good start. You're just gonna get very hurt. Very hurt, right. maybe like emotionally. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang. Spiritually. Yeah. You can't be putting that in the air, dude. Yeah. We're not gonna die or get hurt. If you want, we could do like a little tarot reading to sort of see... A what read? A tarot? Like, yeah, tarot card reading. Tarot cards really tell you like a lot about what you're feeling subconsciously. So how you relate to the card gives you a lot of insight as to like what's going on within your psyche. I mean, I guess. Sure. Yeah, I mean, let's do it. What is all this you have right here? Can you explain? I, I've never seen a setup like this. Okay, so these are some crystals I've collected. This one's actually traveled the world. I've like put it in different oceans. So when I hold it, it makes me feel like connected to all the places it's been. Right, been it's been okay. to Egypt, it's been to Bali. Oh, wow. Ooh, we've been to Egypt. And then these are a bunch of feathers that I actually Actually collected in the witch's forest. Whoa, yeah. that's cool. What do they uh, symbolize? Doesn't I thought feathers symbolizes like the paranormal. I don't know, but I feel like they are good omens. When I find them, I'm like, yeah, I'm on the right track. I'm gonna just sage the cards first, Sounds cleanse good. any previous energies off of them. And do you sage like most people that you first meet, or? I like to sage people that are coming into my home just to keep the energy clear here. Yeah. We actually had a medium come out and cleanse the house because of the death. Because of the death. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying, okay, wait, wait, no, I was wait. confused. The death is in this house, not the cabin? This house. Oh! Oh God. Okay, we, we mixed that up. I, th I thought she was talking about the cabin. This is, wait, so that's, that door opened. In our, oh my God. Wait, as we were talking about the death in this yeah. house is when that door opened? Yeah. All right. Okay. What? Yeah, I thought we were talking about the cabin. I was freaking out. I lived here alone for the first six months that I lived here, and I was really scared. I would be in the kitchen, like washing dishes, and always be like looking over my shoulder and okay. hearing lots of creaks. Like you could feel like a presence watching yes. you or something. I had a roommate for a while who stayed here who said she could see spirits, and she's like, there are all kinds of things in this house. Oh my and god. She said they were good. But you're not, okay. you're not afraid okay. to live here anymore. Like you're kind of over it. Or I'm afraid when I'm alone here. I'm not gonna lie. She said the cabin's fine. She let her give us the key and said we could stay in there. Remind me, did she ever say that the cabin was haunted? No, she said the forest, the forest was, was haunted, haunted, not the cabin. I'm Got pretty it. Okay, sure. I feel a little bit more. I don't know. It was a couple days ago. So you guys are staying in her cabin? Yes. We're gonna try camping out there, and then mm -hmm. hopefully the cabin doesn't have any creepy spirits because we told Corey we're gonna be yeah, safe. Yeah, we were we were gonna be safe and stay away from Ouija boards. Yeah. And seances. I would definitely stay away from Ouija boards. That, oh, hey! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. No, inviting spirits. You don't know who's gonna come through, if they're good or bad, I just, I wouldn't do it. So I'm gonna have you shuffle and think about the journey you're going on tonight. Close your eyes, really think about it. Okay. And then pass it to him, you do the same. All right, is that, that's pretty shuffled, right? Yeah, now pass it to him. But really, saying. really think about it. Okay. Good job, Jake. Eyes closed, shuffle? Yeah. Most important thing is you're thinking about your intention and what you're doing tonight. I didn't want to come tonight though. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, the on. Okay. There's some good energy right there. I'm gonna mix it though. I'm gonna put it right there. Mm. Then there's cause there's bad energy on this one. That's a shuffle. All right. Beautiful. I'm feeling good. The tower? Mm. What was the uh? <laughs> None of these are wait, don't wait, don't be afraid, wait, okay? Wait, None of these wait, are wait, bad. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. What about death? It's not what you think. So the tower can usually indicate like upheaval and chaos. There's literally people like being thrown from a burning building. Was that a good thing? When everything collapses, you have to rebuild. So chaos isn't always a bad thing. It can lead to like the next chapter of your life, which is actually closely tied to the death card. Mm. Um, what? The next chapter of my life.